So earlier this year in April 2021, a group of people from China actually dropped a Kickstarter campaign called the PQ Earbuds with interchangeable batteries. Uh, and they actually boast a massive 150 hours of usage. Now that got me really excited because, uh, I mean, in the past few years, there were several companies which have actually attempted to incorporate this particular feature into wireless earbuds, but most have failed to achieve decent level of battery life. So I decided to back it and hope that this idea would actually become a reality. Hi everyone, this is Johnny here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My channel mainly focuses on reviewing budget and affordable wireless earbuds so that it can help you to decide before you hit that buy button. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, the PQ earbuds were going for around 49 US dollar, about 49, 50 US dollar, exclusive for Kickstarters, for Kickstarter backers. Um, it, was success it was successfully backed in July, June. June 2021 and it arrived at my doorstep pretty quickly in less than six weeks time here <laughs> okay and for those of you who actually wish to check it out I'll include the web link so that you can check it out later okay in the description below and for the past one week I've actually been testing the PQ earbuds so I would like to actually list down the top three things to consider before you hit that buy button for the PQ earbuds. And towards the end of this video, I will, as usual, I will include the audio tracks which showcase the microphone capability uh, of the PQ earbuds. Now, a lot of people well, have always been very concerned with, you know, the build quality of products and items coming from platforms such as Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Well, for the PQ earbuds, I would like to say is that it's surprisingly pretty well built. There are actually two versions. The one I have here is actually the standard and then there's another one is called the premium. Now, um, the standard is actually made of ABS plastic. Uh, okay, here, hard plastic. <clears throat> well, whereas the premium variant comes with a metal charging case. Now, the standard version I have is actually the black color. It, comes with another color is the white color while the battery stem itself it actually has comes in six different colors i think there's quite a lot there's black there's white there's purple there's green there's blue i forgot one more i think pink now comparing the size of the of the casing along with other brands such as you know um the jabra the redmi AirDots 3 the airpods pro it's slightly larger and a little bit heavier. That's because it has interchangeable batteries and it has actually a large internal battery size. Now, uh, when you hold the casing in your hand, it feels very solid. It feels very sturdy, you know. The, the, it gives you a feeling that the plastic they use is not very thin. It's pretty thick, pretty premium, all right? It can take some damage right <laughs> it can take some you know handling right man handling and of course the lid itself when closed it only wobbles very slightly on the top of the case has this leather like finish uh which is pretty scratch resistant and the logo of course it actually survived my fingernail scratch test um the logo printed on top of the lid it doesn't come off now the rest of the casing is actually matte finishing and overall, the entire you know, charging case, they are not a fingerprint magnet. Now at the back of the case, you will actually find a USB-C port. That like, yes, finally, not the micro USB anymore. Right? Now after you plug in the USB-C charging cable, the five white LED light at the front, it will light up to indicate that it's charging. Now, when it's fully charged, all the five white lights will actually go off automatically. And of course, now the five LED lights, they are labeled accordingly in L, B1, C, B2, and R. Now, I'll ex actually explain this later on when we look at what's inside. Now, for the lid itself, there's actually no resistance in the spring. So, this means that 
um, you're, it's not able to hold the lid at any angle in order to access the earbuds you need to open up the uh, lid fully now on the inside the earbuds are laid vertically and in the middle are two charging ports for an extra pair of battery stems now here you will see actually on the inside you will see the same label L, B1, C, B2 and R which are the same corresponding label as the ones printed on the five white LED lights. So, in fact, the five white LED lights are labeled accordingly to tell you the recharging process or in fact, which component are actually charging right now. Now, for the years but itself, the design and shape resembles the Apple AirPod Pro. All right, so it's just that it's bearing a longer battery stem. That's all, and it's actually interchangeable. Now, the construction of the battery stem itself, it doesn't feel cheap. It feels very premium, very solid. Um, it's metal constructed. So, and it, of course, it has a certain weight to it. Uh, it doesn't feel like something cheap, you know, something uh, low quality. Now, the next thing is that the magnets used here in the PQ earbuds are pretty strong. Very strong actually. Now the lid, it rarely opens if you drop it from knee height, which is very important. Um, some of you, like me here, sometimes you may drop it you know, accidentally. Uh, it's good to know that you know the earbuds and the battery stems they won't come flying out, you know, from the battery case itself. And the the magnets, okay, the quality of the magnets, the strength of the magnet, it continue on to the earbuds and the battery stem you know even the connection point between the earbuds and the battery stem is equally strong as well there's a certain consistency here in terms of the of the magnet strength now in terms of the comfort and fit now since the design and shape of the pq earbuds it it resembles the airpod pro so i would say that it's actually very easy to actually wear the pq earbuds on a day-to-day -day basis it's very easy to pop it in each and every time it's not difficult to find the fit all right and it's also very easy to get the seal correct to block out some of the basic noise from uh, the environment now they're actually very comfortable to wear for long hours again this is contributing to the ergonomical design of the pq earbuds which resembles the apple airpod pro uh, for me, I don't really get any app and any ear fatigues after wearing it for like four to five hours straight. And so this, I would say this is actually great for those long listening sessions or if you have some uh, webinars, you know, long webinars sessions, you know, you don't worry about, you know, getting any ear fatigues or, you know, you get some pain or, you know, some sore in your ear, all right, around your ear. And for those of you who are actually have a very active lifestyle, you gymming, jogging, workout, you know, it's good to know that the PQ earbuds are actually IPX5 rated. So this means is that you're actually able to wash this earbuds under a regular running tap. If it gets dirty, oh yeah, cover it with sweat, right? You're able to just wash it under a regular running tap and dab it dry, you know, wipe it dry, and then you can put it on again. It will just work just fine. All right, and another thing is that they stay very snug in my ears when I go for jogging and this kind of stuff. Okay, and they're not going to drop out. Now, in terms of connectivity, the PQ earbuds they actually use a Bluetooth 5.0, though of course there's no further information provided by the manufacturer regarding the processing chip. It supports the following Bluetooth profile. and the following Bluetooth codec, which is SBC and AAC. The Bluetooth range in terms of connectivity is uh, around 10, about 10 meters. Now on my own testing, I was actually able to get up to about eight meters in my house. Of course, there are actually obstructions in between like walls and doors and this kind of stuff. You know, I have concrete walls in between. And when I'm outdoors, I get up to about 12 meters unblocked. It's able to connect to Android, iPhone, PC, etc. Uh, it's not an issue. Uh, and once it's paired, you know, there'll be a robotic woman voice, which will say it's connected at a very low volume. All right. 
like maybe 30% volume, it's not those high pitch ones, right, to indicate connection. And subsequently, whenever you want to reconnect the earbuds uh, with the phone, it's an instant connection. All you need to do is just to open up the lid and it will actually reconnect with your devices. Now, the good thing to know here is that there's no fixed master in slave, so this means that once it's actually connected, you can use the earbuds individually. Um, in terms of switching between apps like phone calls and video conferencing calls and music and video individually, there's no issues. It will switch over to the phone calls and once you end a call, you'll switch back again. Uh, now, putting aside all the general things, the connectivity, the comfort and fit, we come to the first major thing to talk about, to consider about the PQ earbuds, and that is actually the battery life, which is actually the main feature. Now, the battery size of the battery stem is around 40 milliamp. Uh, now, in terms of battery performance, the battery stem were, was able to last around six and six and a half hours, 6.5 hours on my own testing at 100% volume. Um, and talking on the PQ earbuds got me around 5.5 hours. And if we look at mixed usage, I was able to get about five hours on music uh, in total. You know, if I, let's say I spend one hour additional on phone calls. Now, the additional pair of battery stem in the charging case, it actually gives me the assurance and the comfort that I can actually truly enjoy a full day music listening, you know, or even movie marathons. When I was using the PQ earbuds, long gone are the days whereby, you know, I use the earbuds for a straight six hours, and then after that, it goes low battery. I have to pause whatever that I'm doing, my music, my movie marathon, and then I have to take out the earbuds, put it back in the charging case, and I need to wait for about one to two hours for them to be fully charged before I can actually use them again. But for the PQ earbuds, that's not the case. You know, after six hours, if the battery are flat, easy. Just take out the battery stem, which were actually connected to your earbuds, switch it with the full ones, put it back on, 0% battery stem, put it in your charging case, leave it for them to charge, and then just resume what you were doing previously. You know, this is like magic, you know, dream come true that, wow, finally I can actually enjoy, you know, movie marathon, be your Games of Thrones from maybe season one to what, season eight, nine, ten, yeah, in one go, you don't need to worry, right? Yeah, because we can boast about 150 hours, yeah, all right, without worrying about changing or, you know, you have to wait one to two hours in between. Now, the charging case itself, it also comes with a very generous 1000 milliamp battery size. And to be honest with you, after one week of using them, I don't think the battery size is down to 50%. I think it's only down to about 60, 65. Not too sure because I haven't really seen the light blinking, which is meant for 50%. Not yet. No, there's still a lot of juice inside left. You now, mind you, I use the earbuds for about four to five hours a day. Yeah. So moving on to the second major thing to consider, and that is actually the functionality. And I'm actually talking about the day-to-day -day functionality here. Now, the initial Bluetooth pairing experience was an absolute delight. Once you open the lid, you will actually see Y28, which is the technical product name of this of the PQ earbuds. You know, don't be surprised. Y28 will actually pop up on the Bluetooth manual in your phone. You click on it, you will initiate the initial pairing. It's effortless, whether it's on Android, or on iPhone, or on tablets, on iPads, on PC, it's effortless. Now, subsequently, the Bluetooth reconnection with your devices is also very easy. All you need to do is you open up the lid and you wait about two or three seconds and then the devices will be connected. And then you can use your earbuds instantly. Now, the Bluetooth connection with my Android and my iPhone or my PC or my tablet is very stable throughout my entire usage period of one week. Uh, even though there were like two or three times of odd sound drop, this doesn't happen at home. I mean, I was actually outdoors. Like maybe I was just waiting at the bus stop or I was just waiting at the MRT station for the for the subway for the train to come by. And there was this odd one time or two time sound drop, but it's very it's very quick. It's like just half a second, just a sound drop and then it comes out again. But it doesn't happen very frequently at very odd places, you know. Yeah, it happens. 
you know. Um, but I, I, I do believe that could be some uh, very st- strong Bluetooth transmitter nearby, you know, which are much stronger than the ones that is being transmitting between the PQ earbuds and my phone. All right, and it actually caused a split second intermittent disconnection. But other than that, it's fine. In terms of the volume output, for those of you here who loves loud music, get this. The PQ earbuds, the volume output at 100% is really, really loud. (laughs) Really loud. For me, I had to tune it down to about 20% or even 25%. That's my normal listening volume output level. All right. But the thing is this is that even at 100% uh, output, there's no audio distortion. And the thing is that audio remains very crisp. But of course, I mean, I, I, I will come to the audio quality part later. I won't talk about it now. The PQ earbuds actually comes with touch control. It's not physical tactile buttons. It's actually touch control. It's like the curved part of the earbuds. That's where the, the, the touch control are. And the good thing is that the team behind the PQ earbuds, they actually input essential touch control. Of course, Besides the play, pause, you know, answer call, reject call, you know, uh, skip track, next track, this kind of stuff, they actually also put in the built-in volume control on the left and right ear, but which is very, very good. And I would say is that the sensitivity of the touch control area, it's actually very, very good. And also considering that this was a pair of earbuds which I paid, you know, under fifty USD, and so we have all these features in terms of touch control is really very, very good. Uh, they really put a lot of thought into making sure that on a day-to-day basis, that is as little interaction with the phone as possible and all is kept to the earbuds, right? It's very nice. They put a lot of thoughts into it. And um, now the touch area itself, they're pretty sensitive, responds very well. Um, there's, very, um, de- there's very little delay, you know, between the input and then the execution. Now, in terms of the volume control, I would say is that the moment you press and hold on the left or right earbud, it will actually increase and decrease the volume based on the duration you actually hold uh, the controls. Now, which is the same as if you're using a remote control or you're using the volume rocker on your phone, you press it, it the volume will go up and down according to how long you actually hold it up. All right. So that is actually very nice because I've actually used other uh, what is earbuds? Well, which actually comes with um, built-in volume control. I actually had to repeatedly, you know, input the command for volume up or volume down multiple times because every time I input, it will only down five percent or up five percent or ten percent. You know, it's it's not very so-called uh, functionable, right? I mean, the, the the function is there, but it doesn't meet. The, the true functionality of the command, all right? But whereas for the PQ earbuds, it has that functionality, whereby the moment I press and hold, the volume will just keep going, it will just keep going up based on how long I actually hold on it, or you go down based on how long I actually hold the control, all right? So that's very good. And, but of course, I mean, it's, it's, it's among all this kind of, you know, good things and positivity, um, it's important to note that the PQ earbuds is the company's very, very first wireless earbud product put up into the market all right and therefore i'd like to highlight a few minor day-to-day functionality bummers which i actually experienced over the past one week now the first one is the touch area now sometimes it's a little bit too sensitive now what do i mean by that is that there were actually several occasions whereby i was just like scratching the top part of my ear it was just a bit itchy, you know, scratching it. And, you know, I was just doing some minor adjustment to the earbuds and my finger will actually suddenly brush across very gently, okay, the touch area of the earbuds and that will actually trigger the play and pause function or it will actually skip the, the song or it will actually skip the video. This is like bummer, uh, but it takes a bit of time to get used to it. Once you get used to you it, you will know where to avoid when you're actually doing the adjustment. Now, the second bummer is actually the battery stem connection between uh, with the earbuds. Now, there's actually two matters to highlight here for this minor bummer. I'll talk about the first one first. Since the battery stems are actually removable and it's actually connected to the earbuds magnetically, uh, there were actually a few instances whereby I wanted to remove the earbuds temporarily 
to order something over the counter. I will actually grab the stamp to remove it instead of the earbuds itself. And sometimes this will actually cause a break in the connection. I'll grab it and then I think it's the angle that I put it out it will cause a disconnection and this will actually also cause the Bluetooth connection between my phone and my earbuds to break. The Bluetooth connection is very easily reconnected once I put back the battery stem and uh, everything will be back to normal. So that's the first minor matter regarding the second bummer. Now the second matter to highlight here regarding the battery stem is while you're actually changing it. Now, no doubt your age actually able to interchange the earbuds uh, effortlessly. But I would say is that whenever you change the earbuds in the middle of your music enjoyment or your movie enjoyment, it will actually automatically pause the music and then it will also break the Bluetooth connection. And then once you put back the new battery stand, the Bluetooth connection will be automatically reconnected. But the thing is this is that the earbuds itself, the top part of the earbud, it doesn't have a cache memory of its last action. So after you actually put back the, the fully charged battery stand, you will need to manually resume the video or the or the music, you know, to let it continue to play. So this is actually the, the two matters, uh, minor matters in the second bummer which I faced with the battery stem. Now the third and final minor bummer here in terms of uh, the day-to-day -day functionality is the lack of a dedicated app. It would be great if it actually has a dedicated app um, for me to do some customization. Example, uh, like I can actually switch the controls on the left earbuds and the right earbud, you know, or I could actually uh, do some even some firmware updates or software updates of the PQ earbuds so that you know it can actually rectify some of the bugs some of these bummers which I actually mentioned earlier on all right so these are just some minor things all right the, the, the three minor bummers which I faced you know on a day-to-day -day basis over the past one week when I was actually testing uh, the PQ earbuds but still I mean it's still a very great thing it's still a very great earbud, right? Just that yes, these three minor things you might need to actually think of it and see whether is it gonna be a deal breaker for you. Now moving on to the third thing to consider is actually the sound quality. Now the PQ earbuds actually comes with eight millimeters dynamic drivers. Of course, there were no further information provided by the team regarding what type of drivers they're actually using. You know which brand, etc, etc. I'm not able to dive deeper, you know, into uh, the drivers itself. You know? But I would like to say is that the PQ earbuds, I mean, sound quality was excellent. They're able to deliver things like clarity, you know, in terms of clarity, it's not being too harsh or being too sharp. The lows are heavy and deep, for those of you who, are, who, who love bass. Um, the mids are clear. The highs are detailed enough. Sound stage is, off, is pretty medium. Sound location is good, but not the biggest here. Again, I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit later, but you can still feel the music around you. Now, the sound quality is maintained. I mentioned that previously, um, that even at 100% volume output, there's no audio distortion. The voice doesn't crack. The sound quality is maintained even at 100% maximum volume output. There's no popping as well. There's no popping sound. There's no hissing sound, which is great. Bass is great. For those of you, like I mentioned earlier, those of you who are, who are bass lover, you love your bass. The bass in the PQ earbuds is great. The mid bass kicks and punches in my ears when I was you know, listening. Um, even the darker sub bass tone doesn't sound too, too deep. It actually rumbles pretty fiercely in my ears. When it comes to electronic music and EDMs, you can really hear the mid tones, you know, the, the lower mid tones and the darker electronic tones. It's great because it actually gives the, the PQ earbuds a fuller body in sound, you know. Um, now, instruments, those of you who are actually instrument mu uh, instrument lovers, uh, you love to listen to classical music, you know. Instruments sounds very natural. Vocals are very rich, very clear. It does, uh, and the good thing is that it doesn't overpower other sounds, you know, which is very different from the, the Xiaomi Redmi AirDots 3. Uh, when I was just reviewing the AirDots 3, uh, the vocals are always very front and it's always more prominent than the rest of the sounds within a soundtrack. You know, but over here it's very balanced, it's rich, it's clear, but it doesn't overpower the rest of the sound. 
within a soundtrack. But still, I mean, due to his 8mm audio driver, it did struggle with certain instrumental or musical or classical instruments. And again, this leads to my previous comment about the sound stage, about the sound location, you know, that's, it actually gives it limitation. Now, when it comes to games, it, it's important to take note very firstly is that the PQ earbuds doesn't have a gaming mode, you know, so this also means that um, there is actually a slight delay in the sound effects, you know, but it's not very serious, you know. So, of course, you know, if it has a gaming mode, you know, it would be great because it can actually reduce the latency, the sound latency. Uh, but over here, I would say is that the, the delay, the slight delay in the sound effects, I would say is not very noticeable, you know, especially for casual gamers. But if you're serious gamers, you might want to give it a second thought. If you intend to use this for very long gaming sessions or practice sessions, this is something you might want to consider it. Yeah, okay. Now, overall, I would say is that the sound quality of the PQ earbuds is great. In fact, I would say it did surprisingly well compared to other wireless earbuds which are actually in the same price range as the PQ earbuds. And of course, finally, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will be including a, a, a series of uh, sound clips which actually demonstrate the microphone quality of the PQ earbuds. So do put on your headphones because they're coming up next. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. This is how your voice will sound like on the iPhone 12 mini. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the PQ earbuds. This is a mic test on the PQ earbuds. I'm currently walking outside. I'm currently walking outside. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Mic test on the PQ earbuds. This is a mic test on the PQ earbuds. Some wind blowing right now. And some wind blowing right now. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is a mic test on the PQ earbuds. This is a mic test on the PQ earbuds. I'm currently crossing the road. I'm currently crossing the road. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the mic test on the MacBook Air. This is a mic test on the MacBook Air. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is a mic test on the PQ earbuds. This is a mic test on the PQ earbuds. I'm now connected to Zoom. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so finally, the final verdict. Are they worth it? Well, I would say that there are definitely rooms for improvement, being a very first product uh, from the company, you know, such as a dedicated app for greater flexibility, maybe a gaming mode, a dedicated gaming mode, which could be a, a separate input command to reduce the, the, the sound latency. 
and of course maybe even to improve the microphone quality itself so that it can actually improve uh, the noise cancellation and the voice iso uh, isolation capability so that you know the microphone quality for phone calls and video calls could be improved and otherwise I mean, for me personally, the PQ earbuds, it has great sound. It has essential touch controls, interchangeable battery, and finally, an incredible 150 hours of battery life. Back to the question is, are they worth it? My answer is yes. You can actually definitely consider the PQ earbuds to replace your existing wireless earbuds, you know, especially if they belong to the budget and affordable range and you have always been looking at something of an upgrade, you know, without the need to fumble, you know, to fiddle with a mobile phone app, all right? This has all the essentials, you know, it checks a lot of boxes, all right? You can go and check it out. The link is actually in the description below. Okay, and of course, there you have it. That's all the time we have. This is actually my personal review of the PQ earbuds, which I actually bought it, I actually backed it, from Kickstarter with interchangeable batteries. I hope it actually helped you. If it did, it would be sound amazing for you to actually smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with as, as many friends as possible. All right, anyway guys, that's all the time we have. My name is Johnny, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.